And so our last game of the evening is Crow Walk. Traces of the Lost Colony Prelude. And Crow Walk demo is available on Steam for PC. I'd like to also take this time to thank the developers for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. Because yes, this is the demo of the game. If I'm not mistaken, let me look it up. I think this is the demo of the game that I'm playing. Let me check it one more time. Yeah, let me see, because this should have been the prelude. Yeah, this is the prelude. Okay. <laughs> I was a little confused. I'm not even going to lie. I was like, wait a minute. Is it the prelude? And I'm just, or not? But yes, this is the um, prelude to the game. Um, and the developers actually reached out and provided me with a copy of the prelude. But the prelude is still available to download for free on Steam. And so before we do begin our coverage, I want to take the time to say that the following live stream footage of Crow Walk Traces of the Lost Colony is a demo of the game. Therefore, the footage you see may or may not be featured in the final version of the game. Also, there may be some noticeable bugs in the game. So we are going to start this also from the beginning so you guys can see it from the beginning and go from there. In 1587, the first colonists disappeared in Roanoke. Let me turn this down a bit. They only left a carving on a tree. 150 years later, an adventurer pursues this mystery. He comes to Crowat after a tough trip on stormy sea. What a trip that was. I knew that, that tr this trip would melt a big chunk of my money, but I didn't think that convincing the captain to let just one person off would empty my whole pocket. Well, him being able to come even nearer here takes skill for sure. Despite all these hardships, I can already feel that it'll be worth it. It's time to pursue my own discoveries. Crowwatt is going to be the place where I find myself. I know that. Now I have to find some place to spend the night. So the eye, so it's pretty much a traditional point and click game. The eye is for you to look at objects. The bubble taught the people. This helps you interact. Um, you can move hue with the left click of your mouse quick and twice makes it move faster. The items you acquire end up in your inventory bag or your bag. Um, your journal pretty much keeps note of big events. Using the space bar gives you hints. And then merging the items together. You, of course, drag them on top of one another and that usually merges them. And then the game automatically saves. Um, and you could you continue from the auto save, but I want to say I think you can actually save the game manually too. So I was gonna say now it seems like the sound died down, like it was really loud at first, but it seems to have died down. So we're we're gonna turn it back up. Okay. Must have a key. Seems like I can move it. Uh, 
Let's have a key. Nail puller and a hammer. Okay. Last day in Paris, a cold, but peacefully, but peaceful night. I'm ready for a new adventure, but I'm sure gonna miss this city. Maria Helen will be my home for the next day. So it's gonna dot to crawl wall just because for me. We had very difficult times so far in the ocean, but there's something mightier than their ship. Okay, you might have to merge some items in your inventory from time to time. You can merge them by dragging one or two of the related items on top of them. fresh fish okay Some of this I already know, so for the most part I'm trying to kind of speed this just a little bit. Don't get in with wet shoes. Great. So we picked up this fresh fish. Fresh fish. If I leave a sign as it is in a fall, surely that would be good. Okay. That's a good start. We're, yeah, we're just gonna change their stuff. Why not? Fresh fish. So now they have to let me in. Oh, even a thunder noise is allowed to make someone feel exhausted. Finally, a warm and shelter place. That woman must be Riley. I can rent a room by talking to her. Hello. Bonjour, madam. You must be Riley. And you must be a genius. Tell me, what brought you here on such a stormy night? I'm a person who likes to travel and see new lands. <coughs> I am an adventurer. I'm after the lost colony. I'm an adventurer. I'm after the lost colony. If you are one of those crazy treasure hunters, you can get along well with those pirates who come to crawl up from time to time. Even if you're not, I think you might have a hard time finding a lost colony. Everything is in apple pie order here, and it doesn't matter if we are lost as long as we make ourselves a life. No, no, I'm not after treasure or anything. Apparently you don't know much about what I'm looking for. Look, you give me a room and I won't keep you busy. I'm quite tired. Upstairs you can take the room in the far right corner. The key must be somewhere upstairs after all. We're a small town. There are not many threats around, so you better make sure you are not one either. I have no doubt about that. After all, I'm not a man who lives by the sword. The one who put their swords back in their place live a more peaceful life. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I can't think of anything else right now. I'm Hugh, by the way. Hugh Radcliffe. All right, Hugh. Oh, nothing like downstairs. It's dang cold in here. The key is not in the vase. What about here? Quite empty. Quite empty. So, there's another bookworm like myself around here. Okay. Farthest to the right, I thought she said. I can't go in without the key. We got the key. Open.
A nice example of a carving. A map, but what does it show exactly? Oh, buttons fell off. It's in the drawers. Yeah, we're definitely gonna end up needing those. Tarot card. A new artifact added to artifacts. An artifact added to your list. Artifacts are extra content independent from the main story. They still might possess interesting facts about the town's history. You can find hidden artifacts throughout Pro Walt and go through the artifacts you acquire using the pause menu. Okay. Let's see what yeah, we're gonna probably need that. Look at the map. A map, but what does it show? I guess we take our we take our time to sleep. I need a soothing sleep, and he's gonna sleep. Hmm. Where? This is where you'll meet your destiny, young man. Come closer. No, not really, but okay. Right on. Come closer. You came to Crowwalk to find a lost colony. But this is actually a lot more than an adventure for you. Something that you have desired for a long time. This is going to be your first expedition without your master. If you can make it, of course. But you have no idea how strange of a thing you're getting yourself into. He warned you, but by God, even he was not expecting this much. How do you know all that? Who are you? There will be enough questions that you need to answer and crow want. I'd say don't add to them. Take this cloth, and if you want to take a closer look at your destiny, clean the gravestones. Okay. Cloth too dry to clean here. Oh. Hey, the guy just disappeared out of nowhere. What's going on? I've having a hard time working all this out. Okay, so now we have a wet one. So, clean the tombstones. What's that?
Oh my word. Fortunately, it's just a nightmare. The trip must have exhausted me a lot. I hope I can sleep well this time. I feel refreshed. Let's get down to business. A new page has been added to your journal. You can see it by clicking at the icon at the top right. It's my first day in the new world. I've left everything behind. It excites me, but scares me at the same time. Riley, it's a cute place for a small town like this. It looks warm to me so far. Hmm, Jacob Hill, a rope dancer, so a circus came here once, too. Alright, Draconet, we're probably gonna play this for another five minutes and then wrap it up. But I do appreciate you coming by. Not a problem at all. Appreciate you stopping on in. And then we have one more day tomorrow, and then I'll be on vacation next week, so I will be streaming tomorrow night. Yep, just going to take a week off to work on something. There's an indie event that I'm going to be covering and doing press coverage for because I'm not going to be doing live streams because I need to figure out how my schedule is going to go. But when I return back to live streams, I have an, event, an indie event going on that week too. So um, next week I'm taking off time to get everything set up for the first week of September. So. Morning, Riley. You have a really lovely place. I had a great sleep. I'm glad to hear that. I wouldn't have accepted anything less than that anyway. I saw a sign indicating that there's a tribe area nearby. Do outsiders come here often? Are you running this place alone? I saw a sign indicating that there's a tribe nearby. What do you think about them? Yes, we share these lands with a tribe. It is quite understandable given that we are the only. And we are the ones that arrive later to these lands. Actually, they look like reasonable people, but Governor Walton is the one who controls the town's relations. My relations with them do not go beyond trade. Hmm, it seems I have to meet with Mr. Walton first. Frankly speaking, I'm a little relieved about the tribe. It is none of my concern. Do outsiders come here often? Usually, it is ships coming to trade. Occasionally, Edward and his crew stop by. Ever as the one who is sitting in the corner and is missing an eye. Since we have a good relationship with them, they don't let our other pirate ships get too close to her. People like you don't stop by much. Honestly, it relieves me that you have a good relationship with the pirates. Throughout my journey to Crawlwall, I have heard some unpleasant things about pirate dangers in the colonies. It's none of my business. Hey, by the way, if you're going to stay more than a night, you have to pay two shillings in total for it. I don't want to give up, give you a headache because you were tired yesterday. Right now, you can't step outside this door without giving me my money. I, I thought you'd give me a little more time for this. I have only one shilling left if you accept. No exceptions you. I can't possibly grant a favor to an outsider like you since I'm not even granted to an acquaintance. Furthermore, in places like this, there can be different ways of earning money. You should get moving. Hey, Riley, I brought what you asked of me. I put them in that box over there so they don't get shattered. Thanks, Russ. I must have already paid for them. I remember, Riley. I'm not that senile yet. See you. All good, Russ. I might be able to help you with your little problem. You don't have to worry about the payment. I can handle this easily. By the way, I'm a merchant. Crowwalt is one of my stops. Name is Elbert. Nice to meet you, Jim. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you, too, Elbert. More importantly, I can help you with your main goal. Yes, Riley has told me about you and your search for the lost colony. Really? Although I was ready to work hard for it, I cannot refuse such a convenient offer. Of course, you. Not a big deal. It's just, let's keep our voices down so the people can't hear. Only if you help me with something just a little bit risky. Oh, thanks. I won't take it. I am too new in this town to take this kind of risk. 
I'll find another way to make the payment. Whatever you say, Hugh, my offer is still on the table. Soon you will realize a familiar face will be very useful to you in this town. Sure, whatever. Look, Hugh, I have to admit that you don't look like a harmful person, so I'll make you an offer for your convenience. I have to leave for a short time to get a job, though. Clement has not arrived either. You take care of the service until I get back. Alright, at least I can do that. Well, then come over to this side. Listen, the townspeople like to start drinking early. This place might get pretty crowded, so... Our problem is that we may be able to... May not be able to meet this demand. In other words, our current beer stock may be insufficient. That's why I need to leave. You'll do a good job if you manage the situation by using a little water until I revive. Water? So are we going to fool customers? Keep your voice down. You can imagine how difficult it is to run a place by yourself in this town. Just do what you gotta do. Alright, I'll do it. I'll count on you. Get to work. A glass has five parts to be filled with either beer or water. Okay, so it becomes a mini game. The feel a strong drink ought to fix me up. Am I doing this wrong? I think I'm doing this wrong. I think my last coin will be enough for this second glass. Yeah, dog, I'm not about to keep giving you. Ah, uh, cool down the last. Now time for a good old afternoon nap. I mean, technically he's already drunk. I might be able to just give him a bunch of water and beer. I feel thirsty after traveling along and singing songs. Could you give me something that is enough to quench that? Okay. Give me something strong. I mean, when I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna get away with cutting his, uh, thanks, honey, more power to you. My arms are numb for cutting meat all day. Make me forget this pain. Can we fool you? He's gonna need something strong, or they're gonna need something strong as well. That was good, keep it up. Okay. You want ice cream? It's not working. I'm wasting beer. We don't have a lot of beer. Okay, let me see. It won't let me exit out of this. Because I actually kind of want to... Let 
Like, I kind of want to exit out of the game now. All right, so we're probably going to have to do a hard exit, but that was Crow Walt's um, Traces of the Lost Colony prelude or the demo to the game. And again, it's an interesting um, adventure game. I like the graphics in it. I do like the pixel art. I'm a big fan of pixel art, so I do like the pixel art in it. And the story is interesting. Um, and again, if you like what you saw of this one, go ahead and hit exclamation point GOTW or click on the link there. And that's going to give you a list of all of the games that we have played this week, including the ones for tomorrow's stream. The price of those games, if there's a price, the platform those games are available on, as well as the link to get to those games. And if you enjoyed any of the games that you saw tonight, or any of the games you've seen this week, um, again, please be sure to go ahead and wishlist them. It does help the developers out a lot. And again, a very big thank you to the developers of Crow Walt for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream.